What is self-discipline? Essentially, self-discipline is the assertion of willpower over basic desires. Being a disciplined person means doing things right when you are supposed to do them. It means to keep the promises you make and to be committed to being true to yourself. In other words, it is a synonym of self-control. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can build unbreakable self-discipline with five practical rules that you can immediately apply to your life. These aren't just snowflake tips or quotes that won't actually impact your life in any way. These are tips which will actually change your life if you apply them correctly. This video is broken down into seven parts. The first part is why self-discipline is important. The second part is how to develop self-discipline. The third part is don't wait for the right mood. The fourth part, set achievable goals. The fifth part, think long term. The sixth part, progressively build a productive routine. The seventh part, the 2190 rule. Before we begin, give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and enable notifications so you never miss any of our uploads. So, why is self-discipline important? No matter what your goals are, you most certainly have to work in order to achieve them. And if you don't have any discipline, you most probably won't put in any work, and you'll just procrastinate. Being able to delay gratification and short-term temptations is crucial if you want to be a successful person. Now, there's a difference between being disciplined and being self-disciplined, and it's all about willpower. For example, why do you think that having a personal trainer is much more effective for losing weight instead of working out by yourself? Well, yeah, they might help you with some techniques you were doing wrong and teach you new ones, but the most important aspect is motivation and accountability. There's a huge difference between working out by yourself and working out with a trainer. Trainers tell you what to do, what you're doing wrong, how to do it correctly, and gives you motivation. Between a person who is self-trained and a person who has a trainer, who is more self-disciplined? Obviously, the one who does everything by themselves, right? This is because nobody is telling them what to do and when to do it. The only person that is holding them accountable is themselves, while the other person has a trainer that follows them every step of the way. Being self-disciplined means that you will show up, do the work, and do it as you promised you would. It also means to have good habits, and it's important for behavior change interventions, because habitual behaviors are elicited automatically and are therefore likely to be maintained. You might recognize that you are not self-disciplined. Fortunately for you, this is a skill. It means that you can learn and master it even if you're starting from zero. You're going to learn how to discipline yourself so that you can reach your goals faster and live a healthier life. Rule number one, remove temptations. The first logical step is to remove everything that is keeping you from doing what you are supposed to do. You see, your brain is built to avoid all kinds of struggle, pain, or effort. So, between working and watching Netflix, we tend to choose Netflix because it's easier and it's an instant pleasure. It all becomes a lot easier if you have nothing else to do than work. In this case, you could cancel your Netflix subscription. This can be applied to a variety of things. Are you tempted to check your Instagram feed? Uninstall Instagram altogether. 
Now, this might sound a little drastic. I get that. So, here's another thing that you could do without uninstalling all your social media apps and throwing away your TV. Make procrastinating inconvenient. If you work from home and you work from a desk that is three feet away from your couch, it's very easy for you to get distracted, take a short break, and spend the rest of the day consuming useless snacks while watching useless stuff. Sounds familiar? If, however, you are working from your local public library, it's a lot harder for you to procrastinate since you are in a quiet place with little to no distraction. And you don't have a fridge on your left nor your couch on the right to distract you. This way, if you really want to take one of those short breaks on the couch, you'd have to travel all the way back home to get it. And that's inconvenient. Rule number two, don't wait for the right mood. Be honest here. Did you ever postpone work because you didn't feel like it? We all have. And here's a little secret. You will probably never feel like it. And even if you do, you'll get started with the work and then you'll stop after 10 minutes because you won't be in the right mood anymore. As stated before, our brain is not built for productivity. Quite the contrary, it was built for instant gratification. So you shouldn't wait for the right moment. You should do it anyway. And here's a suggestion that will help you. The three second rule. It's very simple. Whenever you're not doing what you're supposed to do, count to three and then do it. Don't think or worry about it. Just do it. Do you have to get up and study? Count one, two, three, and you're doing it. Do you have to get out of bed? Count one, two, three, and it's done. The key here is to not think about it. Don't say it slowly. Just execute instantly. Are you learning something new? Are you ready to improve your life by implementing discipline? Tell us what you think in the comments down below. Your opinion is really important. Rule number three, set achievable goals. Goal setting is also a skill that will help you get things done faster. You have to be realistically ambitious when setting goals. Something that an entrepreneur will always say is, if you know exactly what the steps are to reach your goal, the goal is too small. Studies for goal setting and task performance state that specific and challenging goals lead to higher performance than easy goals. Do your best goals or no goals. Goal setting is most likely to improve task performance when the goals are specific and sufficiently challenging. So, even if you won't actually achieve it, you will always be more productive. A good goal is an achievable goal that isn't too small. Otherwise, it will feel like you're wasting your potential. It should also have a deadline. A good deadline will help you be more efficient and effective, especially if you make yourself accountable. When people hold you accountable, you are more likely to get that thing you have to do done. Rule number four, think long term. The best way to predict the future is to create it. The difference between successful and unsuccessful people is that successful people take action. If they don't like something, they don't complain about it. They work to change it. So you need to ask yourself the following questions. What are you doing to improve your life right now? Based on your current daily actions, what does your future look like in three, five or 10 years from now? As soon as you print this in your mind, you will understand that everything you do today will have a massive influence on the person you become tomorrow. And this is the best way to motivate yourself to do what you're supposed to do even if you, quote unquote, don't feel like it. Rule number five, progressively build a productive routine. Start small, you won't change overnight. For example, going to the gym, the first month will be hard and taxing, 
But after some time, you will actually start enjoying exercising and going to the gym. You will start looking forward to it and you will start to notice that as each day goes, you will become more productive and get a lot more done. You will start to have a lot more energy and physically see the results of your hard work. Big results takes time to achieve, but with small consistent actions, you can achieve them. A great way to get started is for you to wake up at the same time every single day and have a precise plan on what the day looks like. As soon as you wake up, make your bed. This is a great small victory and a great way to get the ball rolling. Making your bed in the morning has been proven to increase motivation and productivity throughout the day. To get started on how you are going to improve your routine, start identifying areas you'd like to see a change. If you want to, make a list and group every single daily activity into positive, neutral and negative activities. Positive activities are those that take you closer to your goal, like sending important emails, doing research, exercising, working, etc. Negative activities are those that take you further from your goal, like spending time with negative people, maintaining unhealthy behavior, etc. Neutral activities are things that waste your time and don't really have any impact on your goals, like being stuck in traffic or mindlessly watching TV. As soon as you have your list, you can go ahead and decide how you are going to change your routine. At this point, you are supposed to eliminate all neutral and negative actions. If that's not possible, you must consider asking yourself, how can I turn negative and neutral actions into positive actions? For example, if you're stuck in traffic, instead of whining and complaining, you could listen to a podcast or an audiobook. The 2190 rule. This well known rule states that it takes about 21 days to form a habit, 66 days to ingrain a habit, and 90 days to form a lifestyle. This means that if you commit to doing something daily for 21 days straight, it will most likely start to become a habit. However, if you keep at it for 66 days, it will absolutely become a habit. And if you keep doing the same thing for 90 days, it will become a lifestyle, part of your routine. That thing may be anything that changes your routine and improves your life. For example, you might want to meditate as soon as you wake up, take a cold shower every morning, or work out for 30 minutes every day. But does this rule actually work? Well, it all depends on you. Ideally, it won't take you longer than 30 days, but many factors comes into play. Remember to exercise willpower by doing things that you don't want to do every single day. Success is a process, not an event and only hard work and discipline will take you there. So if you've learned anything from this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Don't forget to subscribe to our Transformation Spot community. Thanks for watching.